Hey, this is Eric Holmlund, and I'm going to give you my review of Scribble. It's a brand new product. Actually, it's a web-based application, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of it in this video, actually a tour of the members area, as well as some specific demonstrations of some things I've figured out, what to do with this tool, and things that I think are really going to help your business. And then I'm also going to reveal uh, the bonus package that you'll get if you grab Scribble through my link. So. These are some of the things that I'm going to cover in this video. Uh, five different ways of using Scribble, and some of these are not necessarily even mentioned on the Scribble sales page. I'll pull up the Scribble sales page. Here it is right here. You can see the headline is create amazing ebooks and reports in five minutes without typing a word. I think originally that headline said 60 seconds. Maybe some people were having trouble getting their ebooks done in 60 seconds, so they changed it to five minutes, which is probably uh, a little more accurate. Although I think 60 seconds might be possible, and and uh, we I might even test that in this video um, because you can create very fast lead magnets using Scribble, and in fact I think that's probably the number one best use of Scribble is creating lead magnets because list building should be a priority for all internet marketers. I'm also going to show you how to create instant public domain ebooks. Now this is something that again is not even mentioned on the sales page. It's something that I kind of quickly figured out and so I thought about actually reserving some of these demonstrations for my bonus package itself and kind of keeping it behind the curtain but I've decided to go ahead and just reveal it up front and let you know some really cool strategies that you can use this for to profit uh, in your business. And then a way to make quick targeted traffic magnets. Um, and this also applies for offline businesses. In fact, I'm going to give you an example of how I can use it to create targeted traffic magnets for my offline business. And then I will show you how you can use Scribble to create easy affiliate commission magnets. So this is uh, maybe a little bit of outside the box thinking here. Again, it's not something that's mentioned on the sales page, um, but I've figured out how you could use this ebook creation tool to earn more affiliate commissions. And then lastly, I'm going to show you how you can bring new life to old PLR. You know, I've been collecting PLR since about, uh, well, the early 2000s, like around 2003 is when I really started buying PLR. And I've got just so much of it on my hard drive. And a lot of them are, you know, kind of old and, and dated, but some of that material is great because it's evergreen content. And this is a tool that you can use to really breathe new life into that old PLR. So, first of all, let's jump back over to that sales page for a minute. Uh, just uh, in case you aren't familiar with Scribble yet, um, what it is, is it's a web based application that you can use to create ebooks very quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and log into their members area. And this is uh, what I see when I log in. Uh, it may be different by the time you join. I don't know. Um, this is a welcome from Adil Chowdhury. If you're not familiar with him, he's been in the industry, I think, almost as long as I have. I mean, I started doing online marketing in 1999, full time in about 2003. Um, I don't know if he's been around quite that long, but he's definitely one of the veterans of the industry. All right, so I'm going to click on projects and create new project. And what we're going to see next is a whole bunch of templates that we can use and choose from to create a new ebook and there are templates in all sorts of different niches and genres and categories and also there are some pretty generic ones too like this right here that I think is great because that'll fit absolutely any topic that you can think of plus you can actually change these uh, graphics on these templates as well so just because you choose for example um, a financial services template um, that doesn't mean you have to be uh, creating an ebook about financial services. You can you know, change the name and then you can actually remove this picture and stick another picture there instead. So all of these templates are, are going to be really useful. First of all, I want to show you how you can use this to create a fast lead magnet. And what I mean by fast lead magnet is that you can literally create a lead magnet in under five minutes. 
I think the action, 60 seconds is actually possible, but definitely under five minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose a template and I'm gonna do something just for this demonstration, just to prove that you can create an ebook in under five minutes on a topic that you really know absolutely nothing about. Um, so the topic that I like to use a lot of times in examples, uh, and I know it's cliche, is dogs. You know, whether it's dogs or dog training or whatever. Here's actually a, a template called German Shepherd Owner's Manual. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use this template. So I'm gonna click where it says use and I'm gonna give it a name and we'll call it, uh, we'll just call it dog test. Click next. And then you've got five different ways to get content for your ebook. You can simply grab it from a URL, which I've found is a very fast and easy way to obtain content. You can start from scratch. Now they say that's recommended because basically that's, you're gonna build your own unique ebook from scratch. You're gonna use your own content and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we're just talking about creating a fast lead magnet here. So we're not going to do that. You can copy and paste content manually. I'm going to show you that in some of the other demonstrations. I've found that that's actually one of the most useful um, options in this tool. You can upload a Word or text file. So say you already have like a PLR report on a topic. You can simply use that and upload it. Or you can start with their built-in article collection. So they have a whole lot of topics covered. And I'm gonna show you an example of using that one as well. But for now, for this, we're gonna call it a quick and dirty demonstration. We're just gonna grab it from a URL. Okay, so I'm gonna click next and it asks for the URL. Now I'm gonna jump over to Wikipedia and instead of doing German Shepherd, since that's what the template says, let's do Red Healers because I actually have a Red Healer. And to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about, you know, the history of Red Healers and all that kind of stuff. So I went over to Wikipedia, typed in Red Healer, and what comes up is Australian Cattle Dog. I guess that's the official term. So I'm going to grab, I'm just going to copy the URL from that Wikipedia page, jump back over to Scribble. I'm gonna paste it here, so you can see there's the Wikipedia entry uh, page, and I'm just gonna click Finish. So you can see that, uh, you know, really that could have been done in about 15 seconds or so. And here we go, it's generating this ebook, it says getting your content, it may take a while depending on the content. All right, and now it says generating table of content. All right, and it has finished generating this ebook for me simply uh, by scraping the content from Wikipedia. Now, um, you can edit this. Obviously, we don't want it to call the title of it Australian Cattle Dog Wikipedia. Uh, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So let's, you know, take take out where it says Wikipedia. And then, uh, you know, we can put in our own name here, uh, you know, to claim ownership. Um, now we could uh, actually remove this graphic and put in a graphic of a red healer. Um, we've got a table of content here, and then we have uh, basically you can see it's what it's, what it's done is it's scraped that Wikipedia article. All right, so in a matter of minutes we can create this lead magnet, and then we simply can click generate ebook to save it as a PDF, and we can also. Uh, save it within our members account and you can see now I have it in my project gallery um, it's just called dog test but we can click to rename it we can clone it uh, we can click to view the PDF uh, we can delete it or we can click to edit it further so your question might be what can I then do with this kind of lead magnet and my answer is build a targeted list Again, list building is one of the top priorities for all successful internet marketers. And if I was able to create an ebook on a subject that I don't know nothing about in under five minutes, I could go and create dozens of those in a matter of hours. So, you know, like jumping back to Wikipedia, this was one dog breed. So say I am either selling a dog related product or maybe I'm promoting dog related products as an affiliate or maybe I'm just an affiliate marketer and I'll promote anything if it's going to make me a commission. This would be a way to target 
all sorts of little sub niches. I could go through Wikipedia and create an ebook for virtually every different dog breed uh, and then create landing pages for those and get people to opt into my list and then I can promote uh, related products and services to them. So a very, very fast and easy way to create a lead magnet. Uh, the next one that I want to show you is how to create an instant public domain ebook. Now when I uh, first got access to this Scribble tool, I immediately thought about public domain because there's just so much there and you can literally get huge amounts of content very quickly. I mean, basically instantly. So we're jumping back to the web here. I'm going to go to a site called uh, Gutenberg. And so the, the URL is gutenberg.org. It's gutenberg.org. And on this website, you can uh, access over 57,000 free ebooks. Okay, these are basically all in the public domain. And there's different ways that you can uh, find books here. You can click on book categories and then kind of go through and find one that most interests you, uh, or you can search. Now, because it's public domain, most of these are pretty old, which means that uh, you're not going to find books on a lot of modern topics. So even if we search for marketing, I doubt that we're going to find a whole lot. And we can see here, uh, yeah, we've got something about political economy and taxation, but it's not like you're going to find internet marketing specific uh, books or anything like that. Um, but definitely some interesting things. And there are also quite a few evergreen uh, topics that you can find. Um, for example, you know, right here, this came up for marketing. It's the pig, breeding, rearing, and marketing. Now that's a very specific sub-niche, but you know what? I actually have neighbors in my neighborhood that uh, raise pigs. And so there's definitely a market out there. And you know, people that are doing things like raising pigs, um, they spend money on it. They spend a lot of money on it. And you know, somebody that's just interested in maybe getting into that for the first time would be searching for this kind of information. So uh, let's go ahead and click on this uh, ebook. And this is the way it is for most of the books on this website. You have a variety of different ways that you can access it. So you can actually click to read it online uh, in HTML. And the cool thing about uh, Gutenberg is that they basically put the whole entire book all on one page. And so you could just take this URL and go back to Scribble and we're going to create a new project and we're going to find a suitable template for our ebook about pigs. And there's one that's for wild creatures. And again, it doesn't have to be related to the template, but I did see one earlier when I was exploring uh, that I think will fit this topic pretty well. In fact, yep, there it is, Animal Farm. It actually has a pig in it. So I'm going to click, oh, by the way, you can click to view it and it will show you what that template looks like. So the cover, but then it also has the inside pages. And of course, those inside pages are completely customizable. I haven't even shown you that part of this tool yet. I'm gonna go ahead and click to use that one. And we will call this uh, pigs. And then we could simply grab from a URL because uh, that ebook on Gutenberg is on an HTML page. So I could grab that, I could put it in here. Um, but what I found in my test was that it can be a little messier to do it that way because of the formatting and because there is some content on most web pages that you don't necessarily want to include in. Uh, an ebook like this whole uh, intro section up here you wouldn't necessarily want to have in your ebook and then there's a whole section down at the bottom of the page it talks about the license of Gutenberg and all that kind of stuff that you wouldn't necessarily want to have in there either and so that would be one option um, but there are also uh, some other options for example you can click on the plain text file plain text UTF-8 and this is going to give you just the text and from here, uh, we can do a few different things. We can save this text. We can save it to our computer as a text file, which then can be imported into Scribble. Or we can simply copy and paste. 
And in the few tests that I did, I found that the copying and pasting um, in some cases resulted in a cleaner look than simply importing an entire file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste some of this. Uh, I'm just gonna select a bunch of this text. I could select all of it, but for now we'll just select uh, some of it. Because again, you can do whatever you want with this public domain material. I could turn this into one big uh, ebook about pig breeding or I could turn it into a bunch of small ones and make it even more subtopical. So going back to Scribble, I'm gonna click Previous, and instead of grabbing from a URL, I'm gonna copy and paste the content manually. And so I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna to go to Next, and you can see here you have a what's basically a WYSIWYG editor. WYSIWYG, of course, stands for what you see is what you get, kinda of like you know Microsoft Word or anything like that. I'm gonna click here, I'm just gonna do a Control V to paste that content, and that's it, and just click Finish. All right, so it just auto-generated this ebook. It's For some reason, it called it Pigs Farm, I guess because that's the name of the project, was Pigs. And I don't know why it left the word farm, but it almost kind of works. And then you've got your table of contents that was automatically generated. And then we have uh, the content that we pasted into this uh, ebook. Now, <clears throat> it actually auto-generates a table of content because uh, if you think about it, you know, this table of content that already exists uh, is not going to be correct in terms of the page numbers. So what you can do is actually just delete things um, like that. So I'm just going to delete uh, this whole element right here and get rid of it. In fact, we don't even need this page. So I could actually go and delete this entire page. There we go. And I can delete this page right here. All right, and then there are a lot of other things that we can do to customize uh, this ebook. We can change the colors. So there are many different color uh, schemes and themes that you can switch between with just a just the click of a mouse. It's that easy. You know, there's also a randomizer, but there's all kinds of things you can do with this. Um, there are all kinds of elements. So these are this actually shows you basically a map of all the elements or a list of all the elements in this ebook that you can work with. You can delete them, you can edit them, you can clone them, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can add to this ebook. So say uh, we want to add, we want to append something to the end of it. Click new article, and once again, you have different ways of adding content. You can grab that content from a URL. You can copy and paste it manually. You can upload a document, or you can pull from their uh, existing article collection, and then simply generate your ebook or save it for later. All right, so that's how easy it is to create an instant public domain ebook. Uh, the next one I want to show you is creating a quick targeted traffic magnet uh, using their built-in articles. And so I have an offline business. It's a dance studio. I'm going to create a new project here. And so for a while now, I've been wanting to do more content marketing for our dance studio to attract uh, web traffic to it and, of course, uh, you know, prospects and customers. And so I want to create an ebook that is going to attract uh, people who are interested in learning to dance. So we will find a good template here. And I think I saw one earlier that looked like it would work. Let's see. Oh, there it is. So this is actually a template that was originally designed for screenplay writing, but look, it's got a dancer, so that's like perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click use that one. We'll call this uh, Dance One, because I'm sure I will end up creating more later on. And for this one, I want to start from their built-in article collection to show you how easy it is to grab content from here. And here they have article categories, and you can see they have just tons and tons of articles and tons of categories and I think dance was one of them. Yeah, so they do actually have a dance category. 25 articles in it, so in fact I could create uh, you know, 25 instant ebooks. Uh, so ballet dance classes for all ages is 
that is a keyword or a topic that really uh, is what we're looking for. We want people who are looking to take dance classes and we offer them for all ages. So I'm going to go ahead and just select that and click finish. All right, and I think it has Chris. So, so interestingly, you can see here I named it Dance One. We don't need to necessarily call it Dance One. That's the name of the project. So I probably would give it a new, uh, a new title. And so the default here, oh, that's cool. So that actually has a dancer on the uh, the back of the template as well. That is perfect. Uh, the default is like a dark blue uh, background with black text on it, which I don't think works too well for an ebook. So I'm just gonna pick a different one. So there looks like there's, you know, any number of these are gonna be good. We'll just pick this one for now. And so ballet dance classes for all ages. And here we go. We can, we can change this headline. Uh, let's see, we have to make that smaller, I think. And you can see there's all sorts of different options here. Sizes and colors and styles. Ballet classes uh, for all ages. And I'll put the name of my uh, my company in here by Lighthouse Dance. Okay, and then uh, down here, instead of this table of content, we don't really need it since it's such a short ebook. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this element. And you know, on this page, uh, what I think might look nice would be our logo. So let's go ahead and uh, put a new uh, element in here do a one column block, click to add a new element. And so you can see this uh, is very easy to add. So if you're just creating an ebook from scratch, um, again, this is a what you see is what you get kind of editor. Uh, you know, it reminds me of Optimize Press a little. I, I like to use Optimize Press for creating my sales pages. And it kind of reminds me of that functionality where you can easily, you know, pick an image feature, bullet list, you know, divider, all these kind of things. So this is just going to be a, we'll do a single image and then we'll click on that and then you can pick the image from a URL and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna right click on this image. I'm going to select copy image location, jump back to scribble and paste that in there and boom, that's it right there. Just added my logo to this ebook and I think that looks pretty good. So I mean that's like so easy. I've just created an e a targeted ebook for my offline business and then on this last page it says feel free. I mean it's the template actually really works. All I need to do is then add my uh, contact information say the website and phone number down here and there we go. This is something that I can you know put on social media as well. I can put it on Facebook. Um, but more than likely, this type of ebook I would just offer for free because you know there's probably not a lot of PDF ebooks on the web about this particular topic. You know, people who are interested in getting involved in ballet classes for all ages, you know, there's probably a handful of articles out there, but probably not a lot of ebooks, and especially not a lot of nice looking ebooks like this. And so um, I think that's just a great way to get targeted traffic for virtually any kind of business. All right, jumping back to our list here, the next one I wanna show you is how to create easy affiliate commission magnets. Now again, this is just stuff that I came up with, you know, while brainstorming, you know, in the first hour of using this tool. I mean, the sky's the limit. There's many, many other ways that you could use Scribble, and I'm sure you'll come up with other things to do with it, but these are just a few that I thought of. Um, and again, this is not one that's even mentioned on the sales page either. So let's say you are an affiliate of uh, you know, eBay or Amazon or both. Let me go ahead and just exit out of this for now. And you want to generate commissions for whatever. 
All right, so jumping over to eBay, you know, let's just do a search for uh, kayaks, okay? Because that's a kind of a high dollar uh, item that you're gonna probably earn a pretty good commission on if you refer a buyer of a kayak. Now, there's over 5,000 results. Um, let's go ahead and um, narrow that down a little. Let's say inflatable because a lot of people are looking for inflatable kayaks these days. Uh, I don't know why it still says 5,000 results. I don't know if that's an eBay glitch or what, but lots and lots of results. Um, we'll jump over and we'll do the same thing over on Amazon. I'm gonna jump over to Amazon, put in inflatable kayak, and see what we find. And so what I'm looking for here is uh, basically just content that I can use to create a quick ebook about inflatable kayaks which can then uh, attract people who are looking for inflatable kayaks. And when they download my ebook to get information about inflatable kayaks, they're gonna be clicking my affiliate links and I will earn a commission when they actually go and buy an inflatable kayak. Uh, you know, there's just, there's not a lot of people doing that with ebooks in the affiliate marketing realm. So I think this is really a creative way to earn more commissions. Now, um, as I've shown you before, there's a few different ways that we can do this. We could simply grab the URL and you know paste it in. So we'll go back to Scribble, great new project, and let's find a template that we want to use here. Here, we'll just use all things sport. Use that, we'll call this one kayak. And so once again, we could grab from a URL or we could copy and paste content manually. Now, as I mentioned, grabbing from a URL can be a little messy if there's a lot of different elements on the page. Um, in fact, I'll go ahead and just do it to show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna paste that eBay link in there and just click finish. And so it's gonna auto generate an ebook based on that eBay page. So this search where we search for inflatable kayak uh, theoretically, what it's going to do is scrape a bunch of content off of this page and put it into the ebook. All right, so here you can see that it auto generated an ebook called Inflatable Kayak eBay. So I'm going to delete where it says eBay and I'm just going to call it Inflatable Kayaks and scroll down and see what it did for us. So you can see it's a little goofy. This doesn't really make a whole lot of sense uh, just from a practical standpoint the way that it scraped it and turned it into a table of contents. So I would probably get rid of that page. I'd probably get rid of this whole menu page right here. Probably get rid of this page and this page too. So it's just, there's a lot of extra stuff on here that we didn't really need because it basically took everything off of the page and turned it into an ebook. Now there's some pages that turned out okay. They look okay, but you know, there's just a bunch of stuff that's just kind of, just kind of messy. And so rather than doing it that way, I think it might make more sense to simply copy and paste what we want to have in the ebook. So uh, let's just say we're going to add a new article. I'm going to copy and paste content manually. So going back over here to eBay, um, there's different things that we could copy and paste. So we could copy and paste um, a listing, for example. Just just copy and paste this this listing. Uh, it's like a search result, basically. There we go, I think I selected it. I'm do a control C to copy it, jump back over, do a control V to paste it, and there it is. So we can go ahead and, and add that article. And so you can kind of see what that looks like. And you can see here, this is what it just added to the ebook. So this is something that you know looks pretty clean, makes a lot more sense. Let's do a couple more examples. So going over to Amazon, let's click on uh, one of these uh, inflatable kayaks. And I think what would make more sense is to try to find something that has a good you know, product description or you know, information that we can paste into this ebook. So for example, this one has a product description right here. Uh, what we wanna do is basically take the, uh, the, name, the name of it, we'll call it, so here it is, Intex Explorer K2 Kayak. Go back over to Scribble, uh, we want to add a new article. Uh, we're going to copy and paste it manually. So here we go, there's the name of the kayak. Uh, jumping back over, uh, we could grab this picture, for example. 
uh, or any other picture, this one right here. So I'm just gonna select this image with my mouse. I'm gonna do a control C to copy it, jump back over to scribble, I'm gonna do a control V to paste it. And there we've got it. And then I wanna go grab that product description as well. So I'm gonna jump down here, grab this product description. And you know, as far as like copyright and stuff, I don't think anyone's gonna mind you uh, scraping this kind of material because you're actually promoting their product. Oh, there's the phone. So I'm gonna go back over to Scribble and do a Control V to paste it and click to add that article. And let's see what that looks like. And you can see that looks really good. So we have you know this page that we just created here in Tech Explorer K2 Kayak, I grabbed a picture, I grabbed the description. This is a really nice ebook page. You know, I mean, to be able to create even just one page in one minute is really good. So you can see how we could take a little more time with this. You know, slow down the process and manually grab content off the web, such as listings from eBay or Amazon. And even if it takes a minute or two for each page, that's not bad. You could create a 15 to 20 page ebook in let's say 15 to 20 minutes. That's not a lot of time to create a nice looking ebook. Oh, and by the way, what, so what do you do with this? How do you monetize it? Well, you turn these into links or you add your own link in here. So, you know, if you're an Amazon affiliate, I'm just gonna go in here to edit this text and you could do something simply like, you know, click here for more information about this kayak okay and then we can turn that into a link see so click to insert a link and the url there you know we can just you know that's going to be your amazon affiliate link okay so let's put your link here okay so this is this is going to be your uh amazon affiliate link to that product and same thing with ebay so both ebay and amazon by the way if you're not an affiliate of, of those or a partner they call it a partner program um you can go in and create links directly to any product. And so this is a way that you could do that. So you can do that. You could also link the image itself. So if I click here uh, on this image settings, you can do a link URL. So on this link URL, again, you can do your affiliate link to that product. So, um, I think you get the point. I don't think I have to go through and you know create 15 pages of uh, inflatable kayaks. I think you get the point that you can do this for you know virtually any niche. And again, you can customize it here. You've got different uh, color schemes you can do, all kinds of different stuff. And you know again, if there's a lot of people out there searching to purchase things like inflatable kayaks. And there's gonna be a lot of results. There's gonna be some websites, there's gonna be some articles, maybe some reviews, but there's not gonna be a lot of eBooks. I mean, I just have not seen this done very much in the affiliate marketing world. So let's say you create it as, you know, you position it like a white paper. You call it the, the inflatable kayak buyer's guide. You know, can the consumer, the consumer uh, guide to buying an inflatable kayak. You know, if I'm going to, if I'm in the market for an inflatable kayak and I do a search and that comes up in the results, you know, the, the consumer research uh, guide to inflatable kayaks or whatever, I'm gonna go check out that PDF, I'm gonna download it. And so this can be a great affiliate traffic magnet. And last but not least, I wanna talk real quick about bringing new life or breathing new life into old PLR. Um, you know, those of us that have been in the industry a long time, probably collected a lot of PLR. I have a hard drive full of it. A lot of it is great stuff. A lot of it is evergreen content, but uh, the formatting needs to be updated so that it doesn't look like something from, you know, the early 90s. And so uh, is, that's very easy to do with Scribble. And so once again, going back to Scribble itself, we're gonna exit out of this. We're gonna click to create a new project. And I have, again, like a whole library of old PLR eBooks. I'm thinking one that would kind of make sense would be like a, an old recipe book. I've got all these old you know, recipes and stuff. So let's just pick a random uh, template that uh, looks like it would work. I mean, we'll just pick this one, learn computers today. All right, we use that.
there actually are some like cookbook related templates but like I said it doesn't really matter because you can customize it so I have this old ebook called uh, pudding recipes so I'm gonna call it uh, pudding all right so click next and so there's two different ways I could do this. I could simply upload that PLR ebook, and based on my preliminary tests, again, it can be a little messy. And here, let me just show you why. I'm gonna open up that Word document, and I will drag it over here so you can see it. Okay, so here's, the, here's this old PLR ebook, Delicious Puddings. And you can see it looks like it's from the early 90s and uh, or you know early 2000s actually probably um, in fact I think this one I, I acquired in around 2005 and if we were just to simply uh, you know import this entire ebook the problem is is that it's got this stuff that we don't necessarily want it says ebook with master resale and re redistribution rights it's got this legal notice all right but then the recipes themselves are fine um, so for something like this, in my opinion, it's, it's worth taking just a, a moment more to copy and paste it manually. And so, you know, for example, we can just go ahead and select uh, a bunch of these recipes or all of them or however much, you know, we could, again, break this up into multiple ebooks if we wanted to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on copy and paste content manually and do a control V to paste all those recipes that I just copied and click finish all right and so it has now auto generated this ebook and so uh, you can see the title of it is aptly pudding and then uh, it has auto auto created a table of contents and then we have the recipes uh, down here but this is pretty darn good and actually looks a lot more modern than uh, you know what we had what we were looking at just a minute ago all right this looks a lot more up to date now the cover uh, can definitely use some improvements so we're gonna want to uh, maybe get rid of this cover graphic I'm gonna click the settings button here and you can see background image. Right now it's using one of uh, Scribble's background images. I'm gonna jump over to uh, Pixabay, which is uh, royalty-free stock photos. And I'm just gonna type in pudding. See what we find here. And these are images that you can use for free with no royalties owed. And I wanna find one that is uh, vertically oriented like this that uh, will fit uh, you know the the ebook cover. All right, so let's just pick one. I think I'll just pick that first uh, vertical one that I saw. Here it is, right here. And on this image, I'm just going to do a right click and copy image location. Jump back over to Scribble, and in place of that background image, I'm going to do a Control V to paste that. <laughs> and there it is. I mean, look at that. So uh, and then instead of just pudding, let's call it, uh, you know, pudding recipes. And uh, maybe we'll change the color uh, of that font so that it is a little more visible. And we can make it any color we want. Let's do like a maybe a red. Oops. No, that's not a great color, but you get the point. You can mess around with it. You can make it look how you want it to look. But, you know, that's a way to create something new out of old PLR and it doesn't take long at all um, you can see uh, and it doesn't cost anything either you know once you acquire this scribble tool you can go through and do that for all your old PLR and you know quickly generate new products I mean that's the whole thing you know like if, if you've bought a PLR product you've probably heard the pitch you can turn it into something new you know you can slice it dice it and create new products out of it well uh, most people get lazy and don't do a whole lot of that. Well, this is a way that you can actually do it very easily and very quickly. I, you can take an old piece of PLR, like that old pudding recipe ebook, and in a matter of minutes, I could probably turn it into five new pudding recipe ebooks. And that's, those are gonna be some great lead magnets or something that I could even sell to a targeted audience. 
So we've covered these five uh, methods that uh, I think are great ways to use Scribble. Now I wanna jump into the bonuses that you're gonna get when you grab Scribble through my link, which is ericstips.com forward slash Scribble, and Scribble is spelled S-Q-R-I-B-B-L-E. Uh, first of all, you're gonna get uh, 5,872 unrestricted PLR articles. So again, I've shown you how easy it is to create eBooks um, just by importing some content. This is gonna give you a ton of content to work with in a ton of different niches. Uh, so you'll have instant access to download 5,872 uh, PLR articles. It's a $350 value. I'm also gonna give you some additional informational eBooks that are gonna help you with the eBook business. I mentioned that one of the best ways to use Scribble is for list building by creating lead magnets. Well, I'm gonna include this landing page success guide, which is gonna show you how to do that. Uh, and this also comes with PLR, so not only do you get to learn from it, you can also resell this. And that's a $47 value. Next is the niche market discovery guide with master resale rights included. That's a $37 value. This will help you discover those hot niche markets that are profitable so you know what topics to use for creating eBooks with Scribble. Next, you're going to get the Guide to Successful Online Freelancing with PLR included. That's a $47 value. Now, this is a, a, an opportunity with Scribble that I didn't even mention because the sales page does address this uh, quite a bit, and that is the opportunity to use it to format and create eBooks for other people uh, because Scribble actually comes with a commercial license or a agency license, whatever whatever they call it, can't remember what they call it, but basically you can use it to generate eBooks for clients. So you can go on freelancer sites where people are paying hundreds of dollars to have uh, eBooks created for them. You know, in fact, like the eBooks already written, all they wanna have is it, they, they want it formatted. And you can do that quickly and easily with Scribble and cash in on it. So. Uh, that's another great aspect of this opportunity. This guide will show you how to do that. Also gonna include a guide showing you how to get paid to write a book. In case you're new to this, this will show you the ins and outs of writing a book and getting paid. Again, PLR is included with this. You've got uh, also a 30-day content marketing plan. So eBooks, it, it's all about content. Content is king, right? So all those strategies that I just described, those five things, all of that is about using them as a form of content, whether it's to attract leads or traffic or sending it through affiliate links, whatever. Um, it's all about the content. And this is a 30-day content marketing plan with master resale rights. And lastly, you're gonna get the ebook marketing exposed uh, also with PLR included. That's a $47 value. So these seven bonuses combined are valued at $659, and you will get to download them instantly when you grab Scribble through my link, which is ericstips.com forward slash Scribble. And again, Scribble is S-Q-R-I-B-B-L-E. All right, so um, as you've seen, you know, through my demonstration, I hope that you can see that, uh, you know, this is something that I actually did you know, kick the tires and try it out for myself and found it to be a very useful tool. As you've seen, this is something that can really save a lot of time and make your life easier when it comes to generating eBooks that you can use in your business. And again, these are just some of the many ways that you can use Scribble. Uh, you know, go check out the sales page for yourself. It's just got a ton of information on it. It's got additional demos on it. Um, hopefully after watching my demonstration, you really don't even need to you know, spend a lot of time on this sales page. You probably uh, have a pretty good idea of what Scribble is and what it does and what it can do for your business. But um, you know, if you wanna take a closer look at you know, exactly what all you're getting and all the templates that are included and stuff like that, it's got, it's, it's got all of that stuff listed on the sales page. So go check it out at ericstips.com forward slash Scribble. Thank you so much for watching this review and demonstration. Uh, I hope you will acquire Scribble for yourself and claim the bonuses as well. Uh, those will be available instantly to you in your JVZoo customer portal. So after you buy the product, you'll be able to go into your JVZoo customer portal. You'll see a link to go access Scribble and you'll also see a download link to access these bonuses. All right, thanks again and have a great day.